For Rose, painting is a necessary activity. I have selected the visual as the most desirable method for me to portray my innermost feelings and aspirations. In generating paintings, I seek a dialogue with the preverbal in myself. At times, when this attempt is successful, there is an unbounded affirmation. This is why I work. Rose's works consist of mixed media paintings and constructed wall sculpture. This personal work abounds with gestural signs and abstract imagery that contain both architectural and landscape references. The pieces and the impulses that generate them are grounded in myth, ritual, and symbol. Through the use of chants, intuition, and serendipity, Rose attempts to penetrate to the realm of archetypes. In this dialogue between field and ground, different levels of materiality conjoin to produce interaction, transition, and new forms. Frequently in these paintings, the positive forms seem almost predatory as they protrude into the picture plane. It seems, quote, that the personal rooted in the unconscious must be caught off guard. One must subvert what one intellectually knows to become personal. Bricks, 1998, New York City. The city is a buzzing hive, and peering through the artist's eye, I wonder if this is how the world looks to an insect, all objects and living creatures hopelessly fragmented, endlessly repeated with infinite variation. 
Everything is very real, but heightened, multiplied, glorified. Images collide, mate, then scurry apart. Colors flare up to nova intensity and then mutate to a different end of the spectrum. The above thoughts are inspired by Billy Rose's provocative New York works. Witness to a Sight, 2002, San Francisco. The photo collages and paintings represented here are a video chronicle of the transformation of a site. All shots were taken during a two-year period, initially in the building that had existed on the site and then during the construction process of the new building. The plexiglass layers of these visual pieces function as overlapping and transparent layers of time and space that coexist at the site. The pieces have a cinematic quality that is painterly in a neo-cubist tradition. The project is site-specific in that the intention was to exhibit the finished pieces at the transformed site. Finally, it is said that things change, nothing remains the same. On the contrary, all things remain the same because the perception of a witness is fixed and constant and there is always a witness.